اللهم أنت السلام ومنك السلام تباركت وتعاليت يا ذا الجلال والإكرام اللهم أعني على السلام عليكم ورحمة الله بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه Brothers and sisters um, I want to tell you a very brief story um, about well let me not reveal my age many years ago um, when I was a college student at Texas A&M University, we had a masjid library. And I used to go and sit in that library. And we had an Arabic section and an English section. And of course, the Arabic section was much larger, much many, many more books. And I used to sit there and look at the beautiful covers of the Arabic books. Fath al-Bari, Sharh Sahih Muslim. And I used to wish that I could just pick one up and read it and enjoy the wealth of knowledge that the ulama of our past history have left behind for us. But I couldn't because I didn't know the Arabic language. Sometimes if I had a question, I would ask the Imam of the Masjid who would also be reading books in the library. And he would sometimes tell me that actually the answer to your question can be found in that book. And he would point to an encyclopedia of fiqh book in the Arabic language. And I could not read it, so if the Imam had time to open it and read it for me, then I would know what it says, otherwise I would just have to wait. And that created a desire in me to learn this language, the Arabic language. And several years later, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opened the way for me and I was able to travel overseas to learn the Arabic language. In those days, we didn't have too many options to learn Arabic properly in the United States. And when we went overseas, we had the experience of fully immersed, being fully immersed in an Arabic environment and learn Arabic from great teachers of the Arabic language. Brothers and sisters, today we have an opportunity in our very own masjid here, in the Plano Masjid, to learn the Arabic language. We have teachers in the Arabic program who are native speakers or who themselves have learned the Arabic language and know the difficulties that students face when they learn the Arabic language. The books that they are using to teach the Arabic language are the same books that are taught in the centers of learning Arabic in Egypt and Saudi Arabia. So now we have this available here. And starting July 10th, insha'Allah ta'ala, there's going to be a summer intensive in the Arabic language classes where you can learn an entire semester worth of Arabic in just a couple of months. Because the classes are going to be every day. And there are classes that are sisters only. There are also classes that are for brothers and sisters. So since these classes are every day, it's almost like, not completely, but almost like being immersed in the Arabic language because you do this daily. Whereas the regular semester does not have classes every day because of people's busy schedules. So if this is something that interests you, I would highly encourage you to look for the flyers in the lobby 
Ustad Ibrahim is there. He is one of the teachers of the Arabic program. He is there to answer any questions that you have. But I would highly encourage you to register before July 10th, inshaAllah ta'ala. If you cannot register for the summer intensive, you can also ask him about the classes that are going to be offered in the fall semester, and you can also register for those. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. If I can take another minute or two from your time, Allah bless you. I just feel now that I have to say this thing as well, in addition to what Sheikh Arsalan mentioned. And I can tell you, knowing first Sheikh Arsalan, MashaAllah, his Arabic, his ability to study Arabic, to read Arabic, and his even handwriting are extremely special. In other words, sometimes you're going to ask the question, what about the quality of those who are here? I usually don't say these things. But if I say it, inshallah, believe me, it is true. You have somebody here, Sheikh Arsalan, who's very special in that. Forgive me to say that in front of your face. Second, Ustad Ibrahim, wherever you go, if you find high quality, it's Ustad Ibrahim. In the Middle East, or here, he's a high quality teacher. And his command of the Arabic language, his ability to speak it, his knowledge of the grammar, of the structure of the language, are really professional and high quality. In other words, rest assured of that. Thirdly, Ustad Fahd, whom I saw also know, an excellent teacher and a personality highly qualified in the mastery of the Arabic language, in the vocabulary, in the grammar, in speaking it also. Highly qualified and in communicating it and his gentle ability to that. In addition to that, he also, like Sheikh Arsalan, or even a little more in that thing, he has, he has a calligraphic handwriting. You learn even the art of writing the Arabic language from these two people. So I highly recommend this program, inshallah ta'ala, to our community or to anybody who truly wants, as Sheikh Hassan put it so beautifully, who has that desire for this divine language of Allah Azza wa that he chose to uh, communicate the last seal of the messages from him to mankind. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.